kit. Here, we're going to work with isosceles trapezoids. Um, in this particular problem, we're given an isosceles trapezoid. And the two angles that I gave you were the base angles. Two angles that are along a parallel side. Okay? So in this particular problem, I'm telling you that MP is parallel to NO. Okay? The top is parallel to the bottom. And that NM is congruent to OP. That's what makes this an isosceles trapezoid. Okay? It is a trapezoid where its non-parallel sides are congruent. All right? What we know is that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid, M and P, are congruent. We also know that N and O are congruent. Okay, base angles are the two angles that are attached to the parallel side. N and O are attached to the parallel side, so they're congruent. So for instance, if this was 100, so is this. If this was 80, then so is this, they're congruent. Congruent means equal. So in this case, M and P are congruent, which means they are equal to each other. You are going to set this equal to this. Okay? So let's say 3x plus 32 equals 7x minus 12. Solve for x and plug it back in. Let's write it. 3x plus 32 equals. Mr. Kennedy, please contact the main office. Mr. Kennedy, please contact the main office. Sorry about that. 3x plus 32 equals 7x minus 12. As per usual, we're going to solve equations the same way we always do. Combine like terms if you can. Well, this has an x in it, this doesn't. Can't combine them. On the right side, this has an x in it, this doesn't. So we can't combine them. So we move right ahead to getting x alone on one side. So if x is on both sides, you have to move one of them with addition or subtraction. Well, I always move the smaller one. I'm going to move my 3x instead of my 7x. Since this is positive 3x, to get rid of it, you have to do the opposite, subtract it. Subtract 3x here, and it'll cancel that out. Subtract it on the right. The 3x is canceled, leaving with 32. Bring down my equal sign. 7x minus 3x is 4x. And then bring down the negative 12. Okay. We still need to solve this. Get x alone. x is on the right. So everything else is coming over to the left. To get rid of negative 12, we do the opposite. We'll add 12 to the right and add it to the left. The 12s will cancel. 32 plus 12, that happens to be 44. Bring down the equals. Bring down the 4x. Your last step, as per, as per usual, divide by the coefficient, divide by 4. Four is canceled. You get x is forty-four divided by four is eleven. So we know that x is eleven. Every time you find out what x is, plug it back in. In this case, angle M. Let me move over here. Angle M, three times x or three times eleven, is thirty-three. Thirty-three plus thirty-two, that's sixty-five. So angle M is sixty-five degrees. Angle P should be the same thing. Let's make sure. 7 times x or 7 times 11. 7 times 11, that's 77. 77 minus 12, that's 65. So we did this correctly. Both angle M and angle P are both 65. And we can get angle O and angle N, because sometimes they will ask you for them. What we learned before about trapezoids are that the angles along one of the non-parallel sides, like this side here, they are supplementary. That's 180. Okay? So angle O plus angle P should be 180. If this is 65, and this is supposed to be supplementary with it, then this is 180 minus 65, which happens to be 115. And this angle would be the same thing, because again, it would be 180 minus 65. Another reason you could say that is, well, these are base angles in an isosceles trapezoid, so if this is 115, that has to be 115 as well. That's pretty much all there is to isosceles trapezoids. If you're given the two base angles, set them equal. Otherwise, you have to do what we did in my other video on isosceles trapezoids. For instance, I gave you these two angles. Well, this should be the same as this. And these two are supplementary to that. It's 180. But for more details, watch my other video.